This is a 28 foot by 8 foot tiny house. It is 13 feet tall. Um, it comes with this backup generator here, never been used. Um, the tiny house was built this year in 2022 from a builder in Colorado. Has um, a light out back, propane tank. Uh, the propane tank is used for uh, the two burner stove and the hot water heater. Um, there are four stabilizer jacks around the tiny house. Um, but when you leave, you can just uh, roll them up and they come right across the tiny house here. There's outlets around the tiny house. The electric, it's a 30 amp. And it'll come with this uh, adapter here. And there's another adapter as well if it has a different one. Uh, the water. Oh, here's this. Uh, the water, I do have um, an electric uh, water hose um, in case you're somewhere that's cold. Uh, so the Hose won't freeze up. Um, that'll come with the tiny as well. The two other stabilizer jacks on the front. of the tiny and the other side. Again, more outlets, beautiful black door, front light. So you will get uh, this winter skirt um, that you'll put around the tiny house. Um, to help protect uh, pipes and everything underneath. Um, there are two AC units already put into the tiny up by the primary loft, as well as by the front door. And then two electric wall heaters that are still in the box that you can put wherever you would like. Just the electric box right by the front door as well. And I'll give you a view as you enter the front door. So as you can see, there's beautiful raw pine wood throughout. Ceiling fan as well as recessed lighting. Nice big windows. I want to say they're 64 inches as well as smaller windows. Now this is a fold-out table, pretty large. Um, and then it just uh, hooks up like that. Um, but you can fold it. I need two hands so I can't do it with the phone. Um, but give you extra space to either cook with or to do work, to eat. Really nice. Tons of storage space in the kitchen. Outlets throughout. Roll out trash can.
Here's that extra adapter I was talking about. Nice deep sink. Microwave. Two stove top burner. Stainless steel fridge. And there is room to do either a larger fridge here or storage on top of this fridge. And then there is storage underneath the stairs here. Now underneath the sink is gonna be your 30 gallon water tank. A uh, pretty simple setup here. Um, if you're plugged into uh, water, then you obviously don't need the water tank. If you want to go off road, you just kind of follow the setup along here, follow the pipes, fill up your water tank, and you're good to go. Stove, just plug that in. And then you also have your water heater which is right next to the bathroom, which is really nice. So if you're in the shower and it's way too hot, you can just pop right out and do the water heater here. So it gets plugged in, the propane, um, and then it's just a simple touch screen. So that's really nice and it works immediately. One of my favorite features is the cedar shower. So with each shower, you're gonna get that nice cedar aroma. Very easy to clean. Really just need to oil it up a few times a year to keep that cedar. And then again, you can just pop over and be like, ah, too hot. Compost toilet, this is the two-in-one nature's head. So urine goes in there, compost in there, has the fan and a window here. Battery's gonna be in there. And then this is the solar. Have the washer and dryer right here. Again, just a reminder, this is a brand new tiny home, so nothing has been used. All right. Going up to the primary loft. You do have two storage stairs here. railing on the stairs. Now this is a walkthrough primary, so it's been lowered to give you extra standing room. I'm 5'5 five five and I can stand perfectly. My head reaches the top, so. Nice extra large window here. Some smaller ones. This fits a queen size mattress. The flooring, I don't think I mentioned it before, but it's dark laminate wood. So it gives you a nice view of the outside. And outlets inside as well. And you got a little mini closet in here. And then that is an electric fireplace to warm you up. Some drawers. They're pretty deep as 
size is that? Goes pretty far. I don't know if you can tell. Full arm space. That's the secondary loft or can be storage space if you'd like. It does have its own light switch and outlet up there. Those stairs are, or the ladder is removable as well. So you can say goodbye to your new home. Bye home. <laughs>